Yo, this is crazy to me. Check this out. So 2015 is over, and though the first Ceph signs went live in September, we've already published about two hours of content. That's essentially a feature-length film spanning over seven videos produced in only four months. Are the videos any good? Well, you'd be the judge of that, but they're for sure far from perfect. In fact, today we'll be looking at the errors made throughout the official Ceph Science series. Starting from the beginning, what errors were made and should we get rid of cockroaches? At the 9 minute mark where I discuss the generations of cockroaches versus humans, I state that the age of cockroaches is 300 million years old, making 1 trillion estimated generations, which is correct, but I accidentally said the age of humans is 200 million years old when it's actually just 200,000 years old, which makes 8,000 estimated generations and actually gives cockroaches 125 million times more generations than humans, instead of the mistakenly said 125 times more generations. And that's a huge difference. So cockroaches have actually gone through a lot more generations than humans, which just goes to show how more adaptive they are than us. Very cool, but moving on. What were the errors made in the Berenstain video? At the 335 mark, I repeatedly said DS Randios, but the guy's alias is actually pronounced D Serona. I actually had to write his own verbal correction into the script. Actually, it's pronounced D Serona. I honestly had no idea what that was trying to spell, but come on, cut me some slack, guys. I mean, it's a difficult alias to figure out. Imagine it in a spelling bee. D, D Serona? Your word is D Serona. D Serona. D. Sir. Sir. S. Ro. Ro. R. A. N. Na. D O I S? Anyway, at the 1055 mark, my definition of Ockham's razor needs a bit more clarifying. Describing it as the explanation with the fewest assumptions is closer to the truth is true, but it's important to know that Ockham's razor can only be applied between two explanations. And even then, it doesn't prove anything. It only serves as a suggestion. So to individually compare mass remembrance to alternate universes, timeline altering, and etc., would be how to correctly use Occam's razor. So Occam's razor can't really prove anything. Honestly, this sucks, but still guys, let's give it just a little more science before we start crediting alternate universes. But moving on, what were the errors made in the water cups video? Alright, first things first, although I was lucky enough to get him the feature all throughout the video, I've never actually met Harry Potter. Also, more importantly, at the 3.30 mark, we must rework the boring screen math. Stop. That, that right there, that right there. That figure that I used was for an entire meal. which actually includes the price of a drink. Let's get off of me. <laughs> so it's really double double plus fries plus cheeseburger plus fries plus hamburger plus fries divided by three which using local menu pricing equals four dollars and thirty eight cents and that changes a lot. That would change about 500,000 mils per location. It would make water cups cost about 20,000 per location a year, or about 6 million in annual revenue loss. Soda and water cups would cost about 200,000 per location a year, or about 52 million in their annual loss, raising the total revenue loss to 8%. Sin. So whichever way you look at it, do not freeboot soda, because long live free water cups. <laughs> but Moving on, what were the errors made in the Halloween video? Well, at the 120 mark, Portugal actually doesn't go door to door on All Saints Day, or at least in the city as confirmed by Joana P's comment from Portugal. Just like a lot of Western cultures, they actually go door to door on Halloween, which means that America's infiltrated Portugal a lot quicker than I thought. America. 
Also, this isn't really a correction, but at the 702 mark, I actually owned the pizza costume, but I had no idea where it was when it came time to film for that segment, so I just printed a pizza costume on a pizza paper, and you couldn't even tell the difference. Now, that's all the corrections for this year, but man, what an amazing year, all thanks to you guys. Since Seth Science launched in September, over a thousand of you guys have subscribed and been showing overwhelming support for the show. And honestly, I can't thank you all enough. Feeding our curiosity throughout this year has given us a lot of cool information, such as cockroaches are incredibly adaptive organisms. Berenstain has always been Berenstain and your brain isn't as trustworthy as you may think. Having fun is the secret to happiness and giving your life purpose, you should use free water cups for water only because you can ruin the benefit of free water for everyone. Halloween actually has a purpose for all of its practices and it's actually really rich in history. YouTube Red is overall more beneficial than harmful, more importantly, won't really change anything. And lastly, science fiction can influence science fact. I cannot wait to explore more topics in 2016 with you guys, and I'm very excited for what the future curiosities may bring us. Happy New Year to you all, and remember to always feed your curiosity.